Time to bounce around some more topics. We call it face off. 150th running of the Kentucky Derby turned out to be one of the best finishes ever. Mystic Dan wins in a photo finish edging out Sierra Leone. The Iowa owned horse catching freedom finishes fourth. Closest three horse finish in Kentucky Derby history. Reminded many of us of the cars finish when <laughs> Lightning McQueen wins by sticking out his tongue. Remember how the finish <laughs> yeah. lines? Hey, <laughs> and then today, Carl Larson, Kyle Larson beats Chris Busher by 0.0001 second. That's the closest finish in NASCAR Cup history. Wow. Wow, yeah. More fallout in the state's sports gambling investigation, John. Important to note, we're only hearing from one side of the federal lawsuit, but emails between DCI agents alleges a targeted search of athletes to gain the attention of superiors and possibly even an influence legislative code. One chilling sentence reads, quote, they get suspended or get a scholarship taken away, so be it. Uh, all right, no matter how you spin it, this does not look good for the state. Intentionally trying to ruin kids' lives, no warrant, singled out male athletes from Iowa and Iowa State. I'm not a legal expert and I know some crimes were committed, but it's a really bad look for the Iowa DCI, and I'm not sure how anyone could support what they did to those athletes. We'll see what comes of all of it. After 52 years, Randy Peterson of the Des Moines Register retires. What a career. More than 50 years for his hometown newspaper. Hard to imagine we'll see that yeah. again. East High, Drake, Register. Randy Peterson has been a Des Moines institution. Wish him a happy semi-retirement. <laughs> No way Randy completely shuts down. Can't see it. No. Caitlin Clark made her fever debut. First preseason game, 21 points, three rebounds, two assists in front of a sold out crowd in Dallas. Yeah, sold out WNBA preseason game. All the haters out there keep telling yourself she hasn't changed the game. Good start. She showed her range. I think the assist numbers will go up and it's a definite upgrade in speed and aggressiveness from the college game. She'll take her lumps, but her game will translate just fine. Dave and Busters is on the verge of making it possible to gamble on arcade games through their app. Now, I may be in the minority, but this seems really unnecessary and screams degenerate gambler. What's next? Chuck E. Cheese? Bet on whether the band makes a kid cry or someone won't come out of the ball pit? It, it does seem like a lot here, John. Please gamble responsibly. And just in case, keep that 1-800-BETS-OFF number handy. Man. Knockout.